Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> we will. Thank you very much. monument to autonomy, artistry, and global diasporic cultural practice. Trying to figure out who's who. Did you see the um? posters that are in um, 
Union Station. Oh, um, who's there? Sandy's? It's, um, oh, no, it's not Sandy's. Sandy's. It's, Mar it's Mark. God, Mark, why am I not forgetting your last name? But Mark's. Who? Mark, the guy who makes the t shirts. What's his last name again? Mark Stoddart. Okay. Mark Louis Stoddart, who did a wonderful poster tribute to her collage. Beautiful. Oh, to Salome Bay? Yeah, it's beautiful. You should try and go see it. Uh -huh. Stunning. So Salome's having a moment. Salome should have many moments. No way. Eh? Local, wonderful contributors to our culture need to have more, many moments. Yes, African Americans, you have given much and we salute you, but Lord, we take up a whole heap space in all of consciousness. I started writing music to some of the things she would say because I'd ask her to write it down. Write down what you're feeling, you know. And she'd write about the people that she liked, but they didn't like her because her hair was woolly and her nose was flat, her skin was like, and I just wrote it. I just put music to it and it turned into little songs, but really coming from her. Well, it's true. It's not bad. I know, but it is true. And that's where truth lies in our myths, uh, in our songs. That's where the seeds are. It's not possible to constantly hold on the crisis. It, it, you have to have the love and you have to have the magic. That's also life. And I regard it, even though it may sound as though I'm dealing in fantasy. I don't think so. I find it all terribly realistic because I regard my responsibilities as a black writer, as someone who must bear witness, someone who must record the way it used to be, the way it ought to be. I leave to the sociology, and I want to make sure that a little piece of the world that I knew, a little piece that I knew, doesn't get forgotten. We will shape and mold this country, or it will not be moved and shaped at all anymore. So I don't think you have a choice. You can't even be an artist and not reflect the time. Back to me is the definition of the Oh, I'm cool. Everything's all right. You said everything's all right? Yes. Because did you, did you I pray? Did you pray? Did you, pray or did, you, did you have a feeling of, oh, God, get me out of this or something like that? Yeah, I something like that. Yeah. <laughs> God, I hate that when I'm in a mask, but there it is.
Okay. <laughs> Not just from seeing it just now, but because you've seen them before. They're just delicious. <laughs> Sophia Webster. Local? 2020. She's a UK designer. I love that. But you know, That's I love beautiful. a polka dot. And your whole ensemble. Seriously. Right? So there. How are you doing? Not bad. Not bad. Enjoy the show? I love it. I love it. And I just was noticing that you've got these two yes. great looks right now. Yes. Yeah, that's great. That's the... And then Fragments, which is um, Julie's yes. curation. Yeah. Exactly. Beautiful. And you've got another piece back here, I noticed. Yes, you're welcome to walk around. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Oh, absolutely, always. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Take a little trip. This is great. Oh, this is the um, curatorial statement. A little bit much longer. A little bit more being said. Thank you, Sandra. This is beautiful. And then gorgeous work here. There's always gorgeous work. You should see the work here. All does that they're doing her work. She's great. She does some beautiful stuff and I love this. Um, look at this work. This work is gorgeous. That's the work from your next show? That's beautiful work. The Melniosia, yeah. That's for the next show, or yeah? yeah? yeah exactly. What's working? Uh, can you give it? Can you say anything about it before it comes out? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, so it's opening next Saturday. Uh huh. Um, Melanie, she paints, you know, abstract paintings, but there are definitely elements of landscape and right. Um, lots of gesture. Yeah, you're sort of free to you know find your own way. Yeah. And navigate your way through them. They're almost celestial a little bit, like you know, yeah. like you're looking into the heavens or something. Yeah, yeah, very much. But, it, but you're right, you can bring anything. It could be a landscape, it could be, um, I could even see movement, dance, people. It's, yeah. it's brilliant work. And her name is? Melanie Otier. And that's starting, when is that opening? Uh, opening next Saturday. Okay, Saturday when? What's the date? That's the 26th, of I think. March? Yeah. March, yeah. <laughs> 2022 here in Toronto at Olga Corper Gallery. Come check it out. It's beautiful work. I love that. I'm not always a big, um, what's the word, abstract kind of person, but I really love the way the strokes in this. Makes the eye travel a lot, which I love. Thank you for letting me know. You're so welcome. And you are the, uh, Aaron, you're yeah. one of the um, curators here, or? Yeah, I'm the registrar here. Oh, registrar here. What is a registrar? What does that mean? Inventory, shipping, receiving, that kind of stuff. Right, and you? Also, walk people through the gallery yeah. to shows as well. Thank you. Oh, okay. really and whose piece, what piece is this? You know, this piece? Christine Davis. Um, and the piece is after uh, Hildegard, Hildegard von Bingen, uh, one of her divine visions. She mm -hmm. was like a monastic uh, and an alchemist and a uh, composer, so many things. Mm -hmm. uh, but she had like divine visions. Okay, and great. This is after an illustrated. Um, text basically of one of her visions and it's choirs well the original is choirs and angels mm. and it's sort of angels turned in profile and with their wings flowing off the back ah. and she's used these uh, blue morpho butterfly wings here to sort of 
sort of do an homage, make an homage to that uh, piece. Thank you. And this piece is yours? John McEwen. It's called uh, Stepping Wolf, I believe. Okay. Yeah. John's based up in Hillsboro. He uh, his studio is an old blacksmith uh, shop. Right. He works. Uh, yeah. Most often, I'd say in steel like this. Okay. So this um, is steel that we're looking at. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Wow. I thought I thought it was wood. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And this last. Sorry, I know I'm doing this, no but he's. Oh, this is her work, right? Yeah, this is great. Again. Beautiful. And then this piece is all right. This arrived last week while I was away. Um, I know it's an artist from Kingston. I can't remember his name. No worries. I'm just... uh, but he did an artist residency in England right around the time that they were ending, you know, the like centuries long tradition of the, the fox chase. Right, right. And he made this piece after that. It was, you know, sort of like a, well, it's a rocking horse, obviously, but it's, it's tired. Right, <laughs> it's right, exhausted. Right, it's right, sort right. of run its course and now it's resting. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. And in that piece I've seen before. That piece yeah, before. Reinhardt 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 Rein